Although he might be tempted to feel like one, Simon Shevchik is not a EuroLeague newcomer. Ten years after his last season in the continent's top competition, Shevchik is not only making his long-awaited return, but for the first time, he's playing in the EuroLeague with a team from his native Poland, Stelmet Zielonagora. Great feeling, great feeling, especially that I'm going to play in my own country. I'm looking forward, you know, to meet the best teams in, uh, in Europe. Great teams, uh, great opportunity, and uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited to, to coming back. Ten years is a long time, especially in the world of professional sports. However, Shevchik still remembers of his experiences when he made his debut with Alba Berlin of Germany in 2003. I was a rookie, um, let's say, I, I was trying to, to play the best I can. I didn't have a lot of maybe minutes to show up exactly what I can do. Uh, but exactly, I, I remember the, the best teams, the, the high levels, uh, that uh, the games that you cannot uh, make twice the same mistake because each point, each minute, each action is, is, is count. Shevchik's next stop, Union Olympia in Ljubljana, Slovenia, not only saw him rank among that season's top 30 per minute scorers, but gave him a long term bond with Sazo Filipovski, the head coach who has now brought him back to the EuroLeague with Sielona Gora. In Olympia Ljubljana, uh, basically I met uh, Sasha Filipowski after half year and uh, we was almost uh, going to the top 16 so I was, we, we was fighting with all those teams and uh, I'm happy to be back exactly with Sasha Filipowski after 10 years. Now 33 years old, Shevchik acknowledges that he is not the same player after a decade. Like everything else, however, he believes that this fact has its pros and its cons. Many friends uh, always was telling me, hey, 10 years ago, man, you got more hair. That's true. But uh, I was definitely, okay, younger. I was uh, maybe more explosive and everything, but I didn't have that experience what I have right now. He's not going to be so nervous each maybe games than that I was before, but still I'm going to be focused to, to play the, the best what I can and give it the best uh, for, for my team and my teammates. Indeed, Shevchik has been doing just that for Zielona Gora through his season's first three games, ranking fourth among all EuroLeague players in per minute scoring. Shevchik is well aware too that another of his roles is to offer advice that only he can give as the team's oldest player. Yeah, unfortunately I am. I am for me, but this is this is just just the number. Of course, I'm 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 going to try to help them sometimes are uh, the situation when uh, even on the practice or, or the games that uh, I'm trying to help. I'm not the alpha and omega. I don't know everything. Uh, of course, I'm I'm the same human being and I make mistakes. But if I see something uh, that I can correct my, my teammates, I always going to tell them uh, if they're going to use it, my good advice is up to them. Another plus of his return to the EuroLeague with a Polish team is that, for the first time in a long time, Shevchik can hear his name pronounced correctly. Simon Shevchik. is no problem. I understand I was playing so many countries that my name sometimes was, uh, was changed to really different, different, different nicknames and sometimes I, I was even, even thinking myself, like, why, why they cannot read it? But whether or not they can pronounce his name well, fans around Europe can certainly appreciate the modesty of a player who, after waiting so many years, is back where he belongs. After 10 years, if I will not play maybe in EuroLeague, the world will not change so much, you know. EuroLeague definitely will live without Simon Shevchik, and, but Simon Shevchik will like to come back, you know, to the, to the best level in Europe.